Well, here's a picture of the spa in its current shape. The panels are out of it. It's been sitting here like this, kind of as an emergency condition. Kind of keep some of the heat in. Uh, keep some of the trash out. A little bit of protection, is, I guess, is better than none to try to keep kids out of it, but we don't have kid problem around here. <clears throat> what I've done to temporarily hold this vinyl up is I went and got a couple of air mattresses, and you see them here, they're laying on the water. That supported the uh, vinyl cover. That was a temporary stopgap method, but it worked. This here is what I ordered from SolarRes.com. It is epoxy resin. This resin does not have to have a hardener. It cures by ultraviolet sunlight in about one to three minutes. What we're doing here right now is the Zero Vox resin is real thick in viscosity, like real thick syrup. So we're using this kerosene heater blowing directly on the can of Zero Vox, and we can get the viscosity as thin as water, basically, if we want to keep a heat in it. What he's doing is stirring and checking our resin right now to see the consistency. And as you see the consistency right now with this resin, it's getting pretty thin from being heated up. Okay, we've got the fiberglass cloth laid out best we can. This side is not a perfect job because we could not get the material spread out without a few wrinkles in there from the tackiness from the first layer. Like I told you, this was a mistake. And so, good enough I guess because in reality, when we do get done with it, the vinyl of the spa cover itself will cover up all this anyway. What basically I was looking for in doing this project, number one, is for structural strength on these broken panels, and number two, as a solid vapor barrier where this EPS foam would not be absorbing water and getting heavy and collapsing and busting up even farther. And that is the purpose of this project. So right now what we are, are getting ready to do is to wet this cloth down with resin. Go ahead and pour it out there. This is of the quarter can that we heated up. Upside down and set it there right on right here. Yeah, there you go. Now, one thing about this epoxy resin that I like about it, if you notice, we are in an enclosed garage. The doors are down to where we have no sunlight, no ultraviolet light in this building, and we can work with this resin as long as we need to to get it, you know, like we want on wet out.
Okay, we got this thing wetted out, got most of the wrinkles out. We still got a few wrinkles, but no biggie. They're, they're kind of minor. It will be covered up with the Bible. But we're going outside right now to cook it. <clears throat> we got a sheet of 4 by 8 plywood up underneath for strength right now. So this cures because this panel was busted up in four different sections. Okay, we've let this thing set out here in the sun for about, oh, four or five minutes to uh, cure out, and we'll show you what we got. <clears throat> now here's a shot of the bottom side, and if you can see it through the resin, we actually had four different breaks in it. And right now we are covered with the resin in both sides with two layers of fiberglass cloth on each side. <clears throat> we'll lay this back down now. And we'll show you right here up. that we are structurally sound. I had these glued up before those panels and brought them over here to have the garage to work with and needless to say by the time we got over here the glue turned loose and the panels broke so there it is with the resin and the uh, the uh, fiberglass <clears throat> hopefully that will do two things not only give it structural strength but also to in encase this styrofoam with the resin as a vapor barrier because the factory plastic that they used had holes in it and once the styrofoam absorbed water the water could never escape so hopefully all those problems are over with and when the styrofoam gets wet it will sag when we get rain in this area it dipped down like a bucket and it held water on top of the cover like a swimming pool which eventually, in short order, broke the panels into four different sections, as you see. Anyway, there's one half of this project that's done with, and now we're on to the second half. All right, this is what we got to work with. This is our last panel, and as you can see, uh, you'll pretty much see, you know, from start to finish with this one. <clears throat> Here's another one that got busted up. Now the first one we did was busted in four section and this one just happened to bust in half. So first thing what we're going to do is take some spray glue in this can aerosol made for foam and put these two pieces back together. Getting a little bit hard to spray can just about getting low and to hold it upright. Okay Thomas. Okay, at this point in time, we're glued up with the panel. We got the metal insert on the inside, and this is not one, but two layers of cloth that we're putting on now. And with it being dry without tackiness of resin, as perhaps maybe you can see with the video, that it works a whole lot easier, the cloth, without smoothing out with the wrinkles. They don't fight with you. 
but it's getting late in the day. We've just about lost sunshine, so we'll put the resin on tomorrow and let this cure out and do the other side, and then bam, hopefully we're done with this little project. Well, <clears throat> we got the panels back in the cover. <laughs> that was fun. <clears throat> Here's a shot of the finished product. And we looking good. And as you can see, let me get down here, baby, better see. Ain't no flex. We got solid panels off of broken panels. And I'm real happy. Not exactly a cheap project to do. I don't know. I guess I put about $350 in materials in this project. But I just really couldn't see going out and buying a new one for the same quality. And two, three years later down the road of time, wind up with the same results. A broken panel. And as you can see, there we are. Come here, Thomas. Hold that and let me back up. I'm just too close. I'll back up and give you a better view of this. Okay, Thomas, you can go ahead and let it down. Put the smack only to the top of it now. There you go. And that's that. 